today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking into a whole booster box of Guilds of Ravnica. So pretty excited about this. And along with the box, there was a buyer box promo. So this is the Impervious Great Worm. This is a massive creature. And some nice foiling there. 16, 16, 4, 10 mana. And it has Convoke. So your creatures can help cast a spell. Each creature you tap while casting a spell pays one for one mana of that creature's color. And it also is indestructible. So this would be pretty cool to try out. I think that's probably worth nearly 10 bucks at the time of this filming. But the prices are subject to change. And with me, I have Liliana to do the pack blessing duties. If you are not familiar with that, the pack blessings get us some great pulls from time to time. And I think you'll find it's unique to this channel, along with a whole bunch of other zaniness. So let's get stuck into this box. I uh, hope everybody's enjoying pre-release for this new set. I'll be heading over there this afternoon, although I'm not sure when this video will go up. So. Let's just say Saturday afternoon will be my pre-release. Uh, so we'll do the pack blessings in a rather rapid fashion. We run the Planeswalker across the packs to get our blessings. And hopefully that'll get us that Assassin's Trophy we're looking for. Because that is the big hit in this set. I think that's about 20 bucks at the time of this filming. Alright, so let's get stuck into this without further ado. I'm going to skip past all the commons. Typically I spend a lot of time on that stuff, but we just, we're just we going through a whole box. It's going to be too crazy to go through everything. So skim past those till we get to the uncommons. Okay, we have... Might of the Masses, Creeping Chill, Thoughtband Phantasm, and the rare is a Pelt Collector. Creature Elphoria 1 1 for a single forest. Whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, if that creature's power is greater than Pelt Collectors, put a plus one plus one counter on Pelt Collector. And as long as Pelt Collector has three or more plus one plus one counters on it, it has Trample. Alrighty, and the guild gates are back. We've got is it guild gate for a forest or a mountain? I'm oh, not a forest, a island or a mountain, and a soldier token. Off to a fantastic start, as you can see. So let's organize things a little better here. Put those there, like so. Okay, on to the next pack. And what are people thinking of the set so far? I don't know if you've had a chance to play with it much, but leave a note in the comments if you think it's good stuff. Next up we have Molder Hulk, World Soul Colossus. Holy moly, that thing's huge. Inspiring Unicorn. Yes, the unicorns are back. And a Watery Grave. So as it enters the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. So one of these so-called shock lands, they are back as well. Very nice. And a Golgari Guildgate with a soldier token. Onward. Got to pick up the pace here. Got a whole box to get through. And then when we do our snack series, I'll be slowing down a bit more. Enjoying the cards a little more rather than zipping through it all. But we like to get through them quickly on the initial release. We have Glaive of the Guild Pact, House Guild Mage, Creeping Chill again. And a Runaway Steamkin, Creature Elemental 1-1 one, one for 2 mana whenever you cast Red Spell. If it has fewer than 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Runaway Steamkin. And if you remove 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters from it, you can add 3 mountains to your mana pool. Not bad. 
Demir Gilgate and a soldier. And incidentally, I'll be playing Demir at the pre release. What was your guild that you picked? Leave a note in the comments. And you may have noticed I've been popping up the prices. So, usually for the rares or foils or mythics, I'll pop up a price. Uh, or if something is worth a dollar or more as well, I'll do that. And then at the end of the video, we'll tally it all up, see how well we did with this box. Next up, we have Crawl Harpooner Pilfering Imp Disinformation Campaign. And oh, there we go. Nice hit right off the bat. Raoul, is it Viceroy? Legendary Planeswalker Raoul for five loyalty cost. He costs five to cast. His plus one is look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Minus three. He deals damage to target creature equal to the total number of instant and sorcery cards you own in exile and in your graveyard. His ultimate minus eight. You get an emblem with whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell. This emblem deals four damage to any target and you draw two cards. Very happy about that, so put that over here. And a Golgari Guildgate and a Soldier Token. I was sort of hoping we would get at least one of the Planeswalkers. I think the other one is Vraska. So we'll see if we can get one of those as well. Zipping through these. Just give you a quick glimpse at the commons there, don't need to read them out. Next up we have Lava Coil, Night Vale Predator, Crush Contraband, and the rare is Estuar and Assemble. So it's an instant for either a forest or plains. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. That creature gains indestructible until end of turn. And Assemble is an instant for six. Create three, two, two green and white elf knight creature tokens with vigilance. What do you think of those split cards? I find them a little bit annoying that you have to turn them sideways, but I guess that was a design decision they made. And next up we have Is It Guildgate and an Elf Knight token. <clears throat> Let's keep things rolling here. Next pack we have League Guild Mage, Thought Erasure, Sprouting Renewal, and rare is a Hatchery Spider. So this is a creature spider 5747 mana. <coughs> Has reach and this undergrowth ability. When you cast a spell, reveal the top X cards of your library where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. You may put a green permanent card with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield and put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Not bad. Ooh, foil, rubble belt, boar. When it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Put that over there. And a Demir Guildgate and an Elf Knight token. Next pack. We have Uncommons, Join Shields, Conclave, Guild Mage, Rampaging Monument, and yes, another big hit, Mythic! So it's a Doom Whisperer, Creature, Nightmare, Demon, he's a 6-6-4-5 six, six, mana with Flying and Trample, you can pay 2 life and surveil 2, so that is a new mechanic. Look at the top two cards of your library, then put any number of them into your graveyard and arrest on the top of your library in any order. Very cool. So we've got a couple of mythics already. What was the uh, Planeswalker, I guess? Yep. And a Boros Guildgate. And a cool goblin token. We love the goblins here on MTG Impact. Goblins and rats. 
So if you ever wonder why I'm going crazy over a rat or a goblin, that's why. <clears throat> Okay, we have a rock charger, creature bird apparently, district guide, selective snare, and rare is a gruesome menagerie, that is pretty cool, sorcery for 5 mana, choose a creature card with converted mana cost 1 in your graveyard, then do the same for creature cards with converted mana cost 2 and 3, return those cards to the battlefield. So that seems like you could get a good combo going with that. We get an Izzet Gilgate and an Elf Knight. Next up, who is this on the cover? I think that's that Raz guy, Planeswalker. <clears throat> We have an electrostatic field, beacon bolt, grappling sundew, and rare is fire mines research enchantment for two. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on fire mines research. Pay one in an island, remove two charge counters, draw a card. Pay one in a mountain, remove five charge counters, and it deals five damage to any target. Get a Golgari Guildgate. And a soldier token. <clears throat> I'm going to be looking forward to taking a closer look at some of these commons in our snack series coming up soon. We've got a Night Vale Predator, Flight of Equinauts. What? Flying horses? But they're not Pegasus, or are they? I don't know. Silent Dart, and rare is a citywide bust. What the heck? This looks like an unstable thing. Sorcery for three mana, destroy all creatures with toughness four or greater. And a Golgari Guildgate, and a Soldier Token. Okay, let's rearrange things here. So, nearly done with the first column. Okay, the first of the uncommons in this one, we have Integrity and Intervention, Book Devourer, World Soul Colossus, and Drown Secrets. So this is an enchantment for two. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. With a Slesden, a Guildgate, and Elf Knight. Last pack of the first column. We get a Smelt Ward Minotaur for the Uncommons, Conclave Cavalier, Glow Spore Shaman. And where is Atrata the Silencer, Legendary Creature Vampire Assassin, 354 mana, can't be blocked. I wonder if that could be used with the Rat Colony. Whenever Atrata deals combat damage to a player, exile target creature that player controls and put a hit counter on that card. That player loses the game if they own three or more exiled cards with hit counters on them. Atrata's owner shuffles Atrata into their library. Seems good. And an Izzet Gilgate and a Goblin token. We're racking up the goblins here. Very cool. We have Golgari Raiders, Whispering Snitch, Street Riot, and rare is an Erratic Cyclops. 0 8 for 4 mana with Trample. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, it gets plus X plus 0 until end of turn, where X is that spell's converted mana cost. 
with a Golgari Guildgate and a Bird Illusion token. That's pretty cool. Now I'll be looking for the card that uses that token. For the uncommons we have Might of the Masters, Rock Charger, Good for Battle, and the rare is Camaraderie. Sorcery for six, you gain X life and draw X cards, where X is the number of creatures you control. Creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. Oh, a foil rare. Deafening Clarion, sorcery for three. Choose one or both. It deals three damage to each creature or creatures you control. Gain lifelink until end of turn. Very cool. Very happy about that. Add that to the foil pile here. And a Slesnia Guildgate and an Elf Knight. We're getting a lot of Elf Knights as well. Is that something you're going to try with this uh, new set? Do some tribal Elf things? Leave a note in the comments. We have a League Guild Mage. Goblin Crater Maker. <laughs> He's got all sorts of crazy things on his back there. Thoughtbound Phantasm. And the rare is Light of the Legion. It's a creature angel 5-5 five, five for 6 mana with flying and mentor. Whenever this creature attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. And when it dies, put a plus one plus one counter on each white creature you control. With an is it Gilgate and another bird illusion. Okay, let's get through these. <clears throat> we have a Conclave Cavalier. Circuitous Route, Demir, Spybug, and the rare is a Chamber Sentry, Artifact Creature Construct 00 for X. Chamber Sentry enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. Interesting. Pay X and tap, remove X plus one plus one counters, it deals X damage to any target. And you basically pay every color and you get to return it from your graveyard to your hand. Curious how that'll work. You'd have to have some special mana fixing or something. And a foil dead weight enchantment aura for a single swamp enchant creature, and it gets minus two, minus two. We get a Boros skill gate and a goblin. Next we have an Undercity Necrolisk, Zombie Lizard, that's a new one. Zombie Lizard Tribal, that'll probably be a thing now. Boros Challenger, Okran Assassin, and the rare is Response to Resurgence. So an instant for a Mountain or Plains combo. Response deals 5 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Resurgence is a sorcery for 5. Creatures you control gain first strike and vigilance until end of turn after this main phase. There's an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. So getting a couple of extra phases would be helpful, I imagine. And an is it Guildgate and another bird illusion. We're getting all the bird illusions today. Next up we have a Beam Splitter Mage, Discovery to Dispersal, City Watch, Sphinx, and Rare is a Beast Whisperer. This is a creature elf druid, 2, 3, 4 mana. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. And Foil, ah, Demotion, Enchantment Aura for a single planes enchant creature and enchanted creature can't block and its activated abilities can't be activated. 
with a Sazer Guild Knight Gate and a Soldier Token. I've got a pack with Rascal on that. Maybe that's a good sign. We shall see. Ooh, a Goblin Torch Courier. Got to get some tribal... Oh! Burglar Rat! There we go! Creature Rat 1-1 one, one for 2 mana. When Burglar Rat enters battlefield, each opponent discards a card. The rats are back. Thank you, Watsy. Very nice. Very happy about that. Had to highlight that card. It's got a rat, so I'm powerless to stop myself. And let's rearrange this stuff. I've got a pile of cards now. Went a little crazy with the rats there, you see. Okay, moving on. We have Uncommons, Ledev Champion, Guild Summit, Inspiring Unicorn, and the rare is Quasi Duplicate. It's a sorcery for three. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, and it has this new jump start ability. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. Then exile this card. I think that could do some tricky stuff. Looking forward to seeing what people come up with there. Get a Demir Guildgate and a Soldier Token. And did anyone participate in the final FNM on the old rotation? What was the deck you played? Are you going to miss it? I would think there will be a lot of missing of decks. It's always sad when a deck you've been playing a while that you've gotten used to, you really like, rotates out. Arboretum Elemental, Book Devourer, Enhanced Surveillance, and the rare is Bounty of Might. So this is an instant for six target creature gets. Plus three, plus three until end of turn. Target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. Target creature gets... So they really had to do that three times. They couldn't say each of up to three target creatures get plus three, plus three until end of turn. That seems bizarre. So there's a Guildgate and a Soldier Token. I wonder if that's a misprint. Or somebody's just being funny next. And the Loxodons appear to be back. We've got a Loxodon Restorer. So the Uncommons, we have a Night Veil Sprite. Flower to Flourish. Disinformation Campaign. And the Rare is an Omni Spell Adept. This is a creature human wizard, 3-4 for 5 mana with uh, this ability, 2 and an island, you tap, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your hand without paying its mana cost. Ooh, and a foil capture sphere, flash enchant creature, when it enters battlefield, tap enchanted creature, and enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Does that remind you of like a Pokemon thing? Seems pretty funny. And a Cessna Gilgate and a Bird Illusion. We've got another one. Craziness. Getting near the end of the second column. It's going to be a long video. See if I can speed things up a little here. So we get a Gatekeeper Gargoyle, good for battle, Golgari Find Broker, and rare is Connive and Concoct. So Connive is a sorcery for three, gain control of target creature with power two or less, and Concoct is Surveil three, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's a nice Demir card there. We've got an Izzet Guildgate and an Emblem of Raska. So now we have the Emblem. We'll be on the lookout for the Planeswalker herself. We've got another Night Vale Sprite. Securitus Route. 
Demir Spybug. And there is a venerated Loxodon. We're just talking about these guys. So creature elephant cleric 4-4 four, four for 5 mana with Convoke. So you can use your other creatures to help pay for this. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature that convoked it. That seems pretty powerful. Selesnia Gilgate and a soldier. End of the second column here. I'm starting to having trouble opening packs. So many packs. I usually snack on them. I'm not usually woofing down a whole booster box like this. A little slower pace. We get a Beam Splitter Mage, Price of Fame, Crush Contraband, and rare is a Temple Garden. So another Shockland, very cool. Forest Plains. As it enters the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. Put that there, and a Demir Guildgate, and a Soldier Token. Okay, final column here. Hopefully this is where all the cool mythics are. We've got a couple so far, but a few more would not go astray. We get a Rock Charger, Crackling Drake, I nearly said Cackling Drake, Status and Statue. And the rare is Niv Mizzet, Paran, there he is again, 5-5, five, 4-6 five, mana, this spell can't be counted, he's a Dragon Wizard by the way. With flying, whenever you draw a card, it deals one damage to any target, and whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, you draw a card. How does that compare to the previous Niv Mizzet, do you think? Uh, the previous one was better, or this one is? Leave a note in the comments, get a Demir Gilgate and an Elf Knight token. Next up we have Chemister's Insight, Ledev Champion, Street Riot, and rare is Amara, Soul of the Accord, Legendary Creature of Cleric 2-2 two, two for 2 mana, whenever it becomes tap created, 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink. Good day, Demir Gilgate, and an emblem of Rael, there we go, so we have that along with the Planeswalker himself. We're all set, we just need a Vraska now. Get another Night Vale Sprite, just about have a play set of those. Thoughtbound Phantasm, Status and Statue, and it's a Mythic! Thousand Year Storm Enchantment for six. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell you've cast before at this turn. You may choose new targets for the copies. Some nice artwork there as well. Very cool. With a Boros Guildgate and an insect token. So what is that? Three mythics now. I think average for a box would be about five, so we should still have a couple more to go. We have a Murmuring Mystic, Inescapable Blaze, Gird for Battle, and rare is Ritual of Soot, Sorcery for three mana. Actually, no, for four mana. Destroy all creatures with converted mana cost three or less. And that is some nice artwork there. Very cool. I'm liking the art so far. Selesnya Gilgate and an Elf Knight token. And if anyone is wondering, I'll be wallpapering my house with Elf Knights and those bird illusions. We've got so many, they seem to be equivalent of like the... Um, Thopters or those other things in Kaladesh. Next up we have a Smeltward Minotaur. 
Glowspore Shaman, Sunholm Stalwart, and the rare is a Midnight Reaper, Creature Zombie Knight, 2-2, two, two, or 3-2 three, for 3 mana. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, it deals 1 damage to you and you draw a card. Alrighty. And then Golgari Gilgate with another Elf Knight. Okay, now we're seriously... We're moving on to uh, Shingling the Roof with Elf Knights. I'm not sure how well that would work. For our uncommons, we have Demotion, Invert and Invent, Wand of Vertebrae, that is pretty cool. And the rare is a Narcomoeba, Creature Illusion, Flying, 1-1 one, one for 2 mana. When it's put into your graveyard from your library, you may put it onto the battlefield. Boros Skillgate and an Insect. Next pack, we have a Conclave Tribunal, Golgari Raiders, Hellkite Whelp, and a Legion Warboss. There we go, Creature Goblin Soldier 2-2 two, two for 3 mana with Mentor, so whenever this creature attacks, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token. That token gains haste until end of turn and attacks this combat if able. Nice to have some goblins. Got to try to put together a goblin deck, I think. We get a Golgari Guildgate and another bird illusion. Fantastic. I'm getting near the end here. Hopefully we've got a few more mythics. We have a Murmuring Mystic, Legion Guild Mage, Inescapable Blaze, and the rare is Tajik, Legion's Edge, Legendary Creature, Human Soldier, 3-2 three, for 3 mana with Haste and Mentor, prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control, and you can pay a Mountain and Plains and gain First Strike until end of turn, seems like a good deal. For you Boros fans out there, we get a Boros Skillgate and an Elf Knight, of course. Down to last four packs. Gotta get another couple of Mythics, people. Liliana, have you hosed us? I sincerely hope not. These Planeswalkers have a nasty habit of hosing us from time to time. That's why I switch them out with other Funko Pop figures. You might have seen the other video today. We have uh, Deadpool. Doing the pack blessings, Wizard Deadpool. Trying to get us some lottery cards, so if you've not checked that out yet, go take a look. Next up we have Affectionate Indrik, Swarm Guild Mage, We Dragonauts, and the rare is, yes! Assassin's Trophy, this is the big hit, at least so far. This is an instant for two, destroy target permanent and opponent controls. Its controller may search their library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle their library. Very nice, very happy to get my Assassin's Trophy. And an Izzet Gilgate, and an Insect. Okay, so we're doing pretty decently. I'll be curious how the box value turns out in the end. I'm going to say probably about average, maybe a little above average. I'm not seeing anything ridiculously crazy but I will find out during editing if I've got a huge hit here that I didn't know about. Next up we have a Goblin Crater Maker, True Fire Captain, Crawl Swarm and another Mythic! There we go, that's what we were looking for, Lazav the Multifarious, 1-3 for 2 mana. When it enters the battlefield, Surveil 1 and you pay X and he becomes a copy of target creature card in your graveyard with converted mana cost X, except its name is Lazav the Multifarious, it's legendary, in addition to its other types, and it has this ability. 
So copies upon copies of cards, that seems fantastic. And a foil rare, nice. Mission briefing, instant for two, surveil two then, choose an instant or sorcery card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn, if that card will be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. With a Demir Guildgate and an Elf Knight, yes. Last two packs. Oh, I'm sort of hoping we can get one more Mythic. That would be a great finish. Burglar Rat again. <laughs> we have a Haas de Marshall Plague Crafter. Swathe Cutter Giant and Dawn of Hope is the rare. So it's an enchantment for two. Whenever you gain life, you may pay two if you do draw a card and for three in a plans create a one one white soldier creature token with lifelink and a foil samala woodshaper creature elf druid two one for four mana when it enters battlefield look at the top four cards of your library you may reveal a creature or enchantment card from among them put it into your hand and put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order and i like the foiling on that it's pretty nice and a Boros Guildgate and a Insect Token. Last pack, all the hopes and dreams are on you, Raoul. Don't hose us, man. Come on. We need a Mythic. One more Mythic would be nice. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's see how we do. I've got a huge tower of commons there that looks like it's about to spill over at any moment. So the uncommons we have, Glaive of the Guild Pact, House, Guild Mage, Sun Home, Stalwart, and the rare is Expansion and Explosion. So Expansion is an instant for two, copy target instant or sorcery spell with convert amount of cost four or less. You may choose new targets for the copy. Explosion X and four extra mana. Explosion deals X damage to any target. Target player draws X cards. And a foil just to strike. Instant for two. Target creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. That seems pretty funny. And a Boros skill gate. And another bird illusion, of course. Alrighty. So let's do a quick summary here. So we get a nice selection of foils. What is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight foils. Not bad. And then the rares. We've got a decent pile. So highlights here. Lazav the Multiferious Assassin's Trophy. The big hit. We got it. Tajik, Legion War Boss. Let's see if we get our other so mythic there. Some shock lands. So I'll do a bit of a tally, see how many mythics. We've got another one. Another one. Okay, so what is the final tally of mythics here? Just do one more pass through, make sure I haven't missed any. And how have you done with your box? Did you pick up a box of this or are you just going for um, single cards? Let me know, curious if anyone's got one of these so-called god boxes with some crazy number of mythics. Okay, so this one, what do we got here? We've got four mythics, so probably about an average box, nothing too crazy. Lazav the Multiferious Rail, is it Viceroy, Doom Whisperer and Thousand Year Storm. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And let's pop up the total value here. I'm thinking that's about average, but I'll find out during editing. Let me know what you think. And coming up, we have a whole bunch more Guilds of Ravnica. We're going to go through the Planeswalker decks. We're going to snack on another box and of course next week we've got the bundle coming up 
and the guild kits, I believe, are in November. So stay tuned for all of that. Thanks for watching, good luck at pre-release, and have a great day.